So let me step back real quick. So most of you probably know IBM as an enterprise solution provider powerhouse, right? They have the full stack going uh, all the way from, quite frankly, the deepest, most, um, the, the hardest type of science that relates to semiconductors up through uh, full solutions and services for Fortune 500 enterprises and, and big governments. Uh, they are an absolute leader in uh, the science of what it takes to do next generation semiconductors. And you may be like, well, wait a second, Pat, you know, it's not the name that I think of. Well, uh, companies like Intel, Samsung, Micron, all license technology uh, and have collaborations with uh, IBM. And in fact, when I was an executive at, at AMD, we collaborated with them on a uh, new substrates like silicon on insulator and new interconnects that were copper versus lead. So uh, what they're doing in this announcement is they uh, uh, essentially, you know, rejoined forces with Albany Nanotech. And Dan, you and I uh, visited uh, that facility uh, uh, this year. Uh, it, it's truly awesome. And, and think of this as a as a campus with the right scientists and the right machines to do this type of technology. And whatever intellectual property that, that the, the companies put in, uh, that they get out. But, but this, this arrangement uh, was specifically around a $10 billion investment into what's called high NA EUV. So we know what uh, EUV is. Essentially, think of it as a two-story laser beam that does the etches uh, on uh, the wafer, right? And which is just amazing because I don't know how it works, but essentially it joins atoms in the air and it la uh, the laser spreads out um, what needs to be etched on the wafer. It is truly uh, an incredible thing. So now we're in this, again, quote unquote, uh, two nanometers. And by the way, there's not a single circuit that has a uh, a, a gate length of, 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 of two nanometer, but that's what we're calling it now, uh, as the industry gets even harder. So it's not just EUV that you need, it's high EUV. And with high EUV, you get um, uh, uh, more definition to make the circuits smaller. And I think the theory is, is that you have to have less passes of the EUV laser uh, in order to do the etching. So uh, the partner uh, partners in this one uh, were IBM, Micron, Applied Materials, and, and Tokyo uh, Electron. So what we're going to see here is technology that gets created and, and then slowly gets moved into production, uh, licensed uh, by companies using this technology. And you can do design. Uh, you can take something. This isn't for high volume manufacturing, right? This doesn't compete with TSMC. Uh, and this doesn't uh, compete with, let's say, the uh, Columbus uh, installation that uh, that Intel puts in. But it's a great proof point uh, on uh, showing the essentially the uh, another example of IBM's uh, full stack capability. Yeah, Pat. And by the way, everybody should read the 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 link. Um, there's a lot here, and Pat, you and I have a lot of uh, semiconductor conversations with the leading business press, tech press, because of the expertise that our, our collective firms bring, but this stuff does get pretty geeky. Um, what I hear here, by the way, you know, they say, is there any here here, is that this is another example of IBM continuing to invest substantially and show leadership in the marketplace. You know, as we move to these, you know, lower and lower numerical transistor, uh, you know, 20, you, you know, different numbers, two nanometer, uh, you know, 20 angst from 18, you're, you're going to go down and down and down. And by the way, there's really only a couple of companies in the world that are going to be enabled. Here. So one of the things you like to always talk about, Pat, is kind of the research and development, the difference of R&D. And there aren't that many companies doing the kind of research that needs to be done. But for us to really get to this, the nano level of what's going to be the future for continued um, efficiency and power gains, we need more investment in the research. And by the way, in case anybody's wondering, the ability for the U.S. and for, you know, allied nations to stay on top and win uh, the world <laughs> economically, um, defense-wise, 
security and privacy wise is going to depend on us continuing to maintain leadership in process technology. So we'll talk about that more when we talk about Intel later, but we're talking about it here. There aren't very many companies making these kinds of investments. This is a very important collective of companies that are coming together. And of course, this is another example, like I said, of where IBM, although they don't get a lot of credit for being a semi company, is doing a lot of really important things. And by the way, when you saw it, announcements like two nanometer, what, a year ago, two years ago now? I'm trying to remember, it feels like we did it on the show. Did we do it on the show? Yeah, we did, yeah. IBM had an announcement of uh, that them uh, doing a two nanometer SRAM. Yeah, I love that you, quoted it. Um, but anyways, you know, with what is going on with EUV, what is going on with uh, process node advancement, what is going on with the need to create uh, next generation nodes, and of course, to gain and lead economic uh, worldwide. And Pat, one more thing, I just want to say this in case anybody wondered, semiconductors will eat the world. I said that first in 2019 on Market Watch. <laughs> Sorry, it was important that I got that in on this show. Um, Pat, I think it's important that you spend the rest of the day finding an older published article when you, where you said that. Otherwise, I will take claim to this. I already fired up uh, all my resources, Dan, like all 30, uh, j just to find this. So it's a great yeah. use of uh, my company resources. So. As our show continues to get better, you're going to start to see the onion of Patrick and my relationship uh, <laughs> exposed throughout these various topics. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, good good on IBM. It's good to see the, the, these groups coming together. Uh, important work uh, on the research side, and we will probably hear more about this in the coming year. 